It was the summer of 1992 when Pamela, a single mother of two from Villarica, Georgia, decided to take her little family on a last minute road trip to Panama City Beach. Several newspapers reported Pamela was seen in the early morning hours knocking on doors to motels in the area, trying to book a room. A police officer on patrol said he saw Pamela standing at her car talking to an unknown white man. He watched as she locked her car with a key in hand and followed the man to a parking lot close to the pool at the Willa Height Motel, also known as the White Hotel by some. Her children were sleeping in the back seat. Three hours after the officer last saw Pamela about 8.30 a.m., a motel employee found the children in the car unattended. They had no idea what happened to their mother. All of her personal belongings, including her keys, purse, and checks, were still in the car. Those staying at the hotel later told investigators they heard screams for help around the same time that morning. None of them, however, called to report the cries to authorities. The victim's family flew to the area to help search for her. They handed out flyers and put up signs, while also appearing on talk shows in the months following her disappearance. One man, who is now deceased, was reported to have been sitting on a folding chair outside the motel hours before Pamela went missing. He was accused of an attack on another female and was arrested, but he was later released. He was never charged in Pamela's disappearance. Another man, however, confessed to the murder of Pamela and 11 other women, which he later recanted. That man is Mark Reby. The first time Rhonda Bishop heard the name Mark Reby, it was after he confessed to killing her sister six years after her disappearance. While in prison for the murder of another woman, Reby went on to confess in detail to Pamela's murder too. Investigators asked him to give information only the murderer would know, and he said she was holding a single key in her hand. Although he later recanted his confession, as well as the 11 others, the information he gave about Pamela matches what the police officer saw that night. Family members said Pamela was known to carry a single car key. The Panama City Beach Police Department and Pamela's sister, Rhonda Bishop, continue to fight for more answers and justice in the disappearance of Pamela June Ray.